one of the most devastating heavyweight KO punchers of all times, Iron Mike Tyson. Coming to end, y'all two of the judges. Let's touch them up. Luke, when are you ready? Buck. And we've had an exit on their head, but I heard Jake Paul seems pretty relaxed. Okay, because yeah. I'm like, well, you can't run in this. Oh, I don't want any more of this. My uncles are out there fighting right now. Yeah. You still got it? Well, there's a double, triple jab with Mike Tyson. He does. Referee yes. encouraging them. Two legends. Oh, Let's be a, a round. Possible task. The referee will have to really be on the. I like a body. Then I let that left hook kind of landed. That was a shot in the face. Was... Right hand, maybe the side of the back straight fall up. Oh, oh right oh, hand, oh, yes. another grip up. OG Snoop Dogg, and look at this. Oh, oh, nice combination. I'm a little bit. A little uppercut from Jake Paul back. Too slow on his feet. Well, he was already cut up right there. Yeah, that was a nice one-two there. That was a solid one-two by... Oh, 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 just blocked one minute rounds. Oh. Or so, Willie just doesn't seem comfortable in there. He took a right hand from... Liver and upstairs with that left hook, and there's a little of that bobbing, weaving, of course. Moving. Good exchange there in the inside. That was that was a pretty good uppercut, but that was pretty... Up and not take no big hits, but keep it in, in tight like that. But is it, it, is, it is it entertaining and exciting for... He can't let Mike get Skills of some of the greatest MMA strikers ever, including Ooh, at better than some of them. Look. Hit There's a double left hook by Tyson. He can't let Mike get settled with the right hand. That was a move in the half. He went real low. That was a low rider move right there. <laughs> no. A very good little half to punch while you're upping it. You see about the fighter week. Well, of what they were in their prime, but Tyson. You know, I was wondering all week, how will... Come out. Couldn't get a read on the guy. This is a grandma. They out there fighting again. Rebattered him with the right hand to the box. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, Mike Tyson picking off. Push him back. Push him back. Liver and upstairs with that left hand. Oh, and oh, oh, and they promising that this one will not. That was a shot. Oh, that was a shot. Oh, 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 Task. The referee, this man on the planet, is undefeated in his young campaign to the squared circle. The popular media sensation and the undefeated boxer known as Jake Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout ends at two minutes thirty-two seconds of the opening round. Right hand to the side of the jaw, a pivot at the end, and it's all over. Mike Tyson and Chairman John Carvelli, Executive Officer Andy Foster. The World Boxing Council, President Mauricio Suleiman, has assigned three former world champions to unofficially score this match. Welcome back to the podcast, folks. Today, we're diving deep into the chaos that was the fight between Jake Paul and Iron Mike Tyson. Yeah, you heard me right. This was a spectacle that made the circus look like a quiet day at the library. So grab your popcorn, because this is going to be a wild, sarcastic ride. Let's set the stage. We had Jake Paul's social media sensation, King of the Cringe, stepping onto that scale like he was about to drop the hottest new track. I mean, this guy spends more time making YouTube videos than actually training in a boxing gym. Talk about dedication, right? It's like the underdog story, but the underdog's armed with a selfie stick instead of skills. As Jake strutted across the stage, the crowd erupted. Fans waving their signs, half of which were probably just memes about how he'd get knocked out. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet, stood there like he was ready to eat a live animal for breakfast. Honestly, it was like watching a lion sizing up a particularly clueless zebra. Spoiler alert, the zebra doesn't stand a chance. The bell rings and here we go. Jake comes out swinging those jabs like he's at a birthday party tossing confetti. It's honestly adorable. You can almost hear the crowd cheering him on like, go Jake, look at him trying to box. I mean, bless his heart. Meanwhile, Mike is just chilling in his corner, probably contemplating what to have for dinner. He's standing there like, is it snack time yet? You can practically hear him thinking, this kid throws more punches than a toddler having a tantrum. As the rounds go on, you have to admire Jake's spirit. 
He's in there trying to prove he's not just a pretty face with a massive following. But let's be real, his coordination is about as good as a baby giraffe on roller skates. Every time he lands a punch, it's like a mini celebration in his camp. Woo. Look at that left hook, which is really just a light tap compared to Mike's heavyweight artillery. And there's the crowd, bless them. They're cheering like they just watched a puppy learn to sit. Good boy, Jake. Keep it up. It's almost endearing, if not a little tragic. Fast forward to round five, this is where it gets interesting. A minute and a half left, and suddenly Jake looks lost. Tyson lands a brutal right hand, and you can almost hear the collective gasp from the audience. This is the turning point, folks. I can just picture Tyson thinking, I knew I hit you with a good shot, as Jake stumbles back, probably questioning all his life choices. At this moment, Mike is treating this like a light-sparing session, while Jake's actively contemplating whether he should take up knitting instead. And then it happens. Tyson lands that legendary uppercut. Jake crashes to the canvas like a poorly assembled Ikea piece. Folks, we have a knockout. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Joe Rogan once said, Mike could finish this fight before we even finish our popcorn. And boy, was he right. I mean, Mike Tyson just sent Jake back to the land of TikTok and YouTube where he belongs. After the fight, Jake's like, I got too comfortable leaning on the ropes. Really, Jake? You thought you were at a beach party instead of a boxing match? It's like he expected to ride out the storm while sipping a cocktail. And let's not forget Tyson's post-fight comment, I felt a bit rusty. Rusty? Come on, Mike. That was like watching a seasoned chef whip up a five-course meal while Jake was still figuring out how to boil water. Let's break down Jake's style for a second. I mean, the kid has heart. I'll give him that. But his punches looked more like enthusiastic slaps than anything resembling technique. And when he gets backed into a corner, it's like watching a deer caught in headlights. Now Mike, on the other hand, he's a monster. Every punch he throws is like a freight train coming at you. He's got that head movement, the footwork, the ability to read his opponent. Honestly, watching him is like watching a master painter at work if the canvas was Jake's face. The aftermath of this fight was nothing short of hilarious. Social media exploded. Mems of Jake's knockout were everywhere. Did you see that uppercut? It was trending like it was the hottest gossip on the block. You'd think the world just witnessed the second coming of Christ. What's next for Jake? A comeback? Maybe a rematch? Or perhaps a reality show titled I Got Knocked Out, But My Hair Still Looks Good? The possibilities are endless, folks. And then we have the ultimate showdown of training footage. Jake training hard, looking like he's actually taking it seriously this time. But come on, can we really trust a guy who's been known for his social media theatrics? Meanwhile, Tyson is out there, still looking like a beast at his age, proving that experience counts. He's not just training, he's reminding the world that he's still Mike Tyson. But let's not forget the recent comments from Tyson about Jake's lack of respect. That's where things get serious. Tyson's not just some washed-up fighter trying to cling to fame, He's a boxing icon with a legacy. And Jake, well, he's playing the role of the spoiled kid who thinks he can get away with anything. Spoiler alert, he can't. It's almost painful to watch. The way Jake uses sarcasm, trying to downplay Tyson's experience is just cringeworthy. Like when he called Tyson fat while he was stuffing his face with burgers. Newsflash, Jake, you're not exactly the picture of fitness either. You can't throw stones when your own house is made of glass. And speaking of fitness, can we talk about the fight itself? Tyson is preparing for this clash like it's his last stand. He's not just training, he's sharpening his skills and getting into fight shape. Meanwhile, Jake's throwing around his bottle of Prime like it's a magic potion that'll give him superpowers. Spoiler alert, it won't. And what about the odds? Joe Rogan said Tyson would have an easy win and honestly, I can't see it any other way. I mean, when you've got a legend who knows every trick in the book against a guy who's still figuring out how to tie his shoelaces in the ring, it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. It's almost sad. So what's the takeaway here? Jake Paul is entertaining, I'll give him that. He's made a name for himself through sheer audacity. But when it comes to stepping into the ring with a true heavyweight like Mike Tyson, he's in over his head. This isn't just a fight, it's a masterclass and I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. This ain't a game he warned, his voice dripping with authority. It was a stark reminder that behind the jovial exterior, Mike High Tyson was a man who had faced the fiercest fighters in the world, a champion with a legacy etched in the annals of boxing history. As the days passed after the Cowboys game, Jake channeled the tension into his training regimen. The gym became his sanctuary, where sweat mixed with determination as he honed his skills. Each punch that landed on the pads reverberated with a fierce intensity, a testament to his dedication. Jake pushed himself harder than ever, fueled by the need to prove that he was not just a social media star, but a legitimate fighter capable of standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a boxing icon like Mike Tyson. I'm ready for whatever Mike throws at me. This is my moment, he declared to the camera, 
a fiery determination in his eyes. Meanwhile, the media couldn't get enough of the growing rivalry. Clips of Jake's antics juxtaposed with serious interviews of MIK painted a picture of a young man trying to stake his claim against a titan of the sport. It was a spectacle that captivated audiences, and the stakes only seemed to rise. In one particular moment, Jake lounged on a couch, fast food spread out before him, as he watched Mikey on a podcast discussing his thoughts on Jake's physique. He's lean, but also, kind of fat. He needs to focus on discipline. Mikey's voice echoed through the room. Frustration bubbled inside Jake as he listened to Mikey's comments. Tossing aside a burger, he shouted at the screen, Yo, Mike, you think I'm playing? Just wait, it was a defiant response, one that showed his unwillingness to back down. The irony of Jake's fast food consumption while preparing for a fight was not lost on the viewers, but it only fueled the narrative Jake was a man who thrived on controversy, even as he trained for the biggest fight of his life. Mike K. Tyson, on the other hand, was relentless in his training, channeling his fury into every punch. In a dimly lit gym, surrounded by reporters, he paced back and forth, visibly furious at Jake's antics. That kid thinks he can disrespect me and get away with it. This isn't a joke, he exclaimed, his voice booming like thunder. He stopped, locking eyes with the camera, intensity radiating from him. Jake, you're gonna regret every sarcastic word you've thrown my way. This is serious business. As the fight date approached, experts weighed in on the potential outcome. A roundtable discussion featured professional fighters and Joe Rogan, who analyzed the upcoming bout with keen insight. Mike is a legend for a reason, Joe asserted, leaning forward in his chair. Jake might be fast, but he's stepping into the ring with a true fighter. Experience is everything. Fighter one nodded in agreement. Jake's got heart, but heart doesn't win fights. Mike will make quick work of him, he stated confidently. Fighter two chimed in, emphasizing the mental aspect of the game. If Jake doesn't respect the game, He's in for a rude awakening. The consensus among the fighters was clear Jake would need more than just speed and bravado to take down a man with Mikey Tyson's pedigree. As the days ticked away, anticipation built to a fever pitch. Jake's training montages filled social media feeds showcasing his relentless dedication. He was running, shadowboxing, and visualizing victory, each clip designed to build momentum and hype. Meanwhile, Mikey was hard at work too hitting heavy bags with a ferocity that sent ripples through the boxing community. He was a force of nature, a man who had weathered countless storms in the ring and emerged victorious. Same fate, I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. When you see Mike Tyson hitting them pads, you get a little nervous. Hey, here we are. Yeah, you know? Hey, here we are. You fought against herself and you won today. Yes. Look at the way he reacts, days like that. Make yeah. a lot of difference in life. He fought against himself today. He came, he did the best thing of the way. Finally, fight night arrived, and the arena buzzed with palpable energy. Fans from all walks of life filled the seats, eager to witness the clash of two vastly different fighters, one a social media star, the other a living legend. As the announcer's voice boomed through the arena, the excitement reached its peak. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event, Jake Paul V's. Mike Tyson, the crowd erupted, a cacophony of cheers and jeers as both fighters made their way to the ring. Jake stepped into the ring first, the adrenaline surging through his veins. He bounced on his toes, a mixture of excitement and nervous energy coursing through him. Across the ring, Mikey Tyson stood stoically, a warrior in his element. The contrast between the two was striking Jake, with his youthful exuberance, and Mikey, with the weight of experience etched across his face. The bell rang, signaling the start of round one. The opening moments of the fight saw Jake employing his speed, darting around the ring and throwing quick jabs in an attempt to unsettle Micah. Stay quick. Don't let him catch you, Jake whispered to himself, focusing on his strategy. However, Mikey remained composed, absorbing the punches with a calculated poise that only a seasoned fighter could muster. This kid has no idea what he's in for, um, Mikey thought, his eyes tracking Jake's movements with hawk-like precision. As the rounds progressed, the tide began to turn. Jake, though quick and agile, found himself struggling to maintain the frenetic pace. Mikey's experience shone through as he gradually began to dictate the rhythm of the fight. Jake's bravado began to wane. The reality of facing a boxing legend settled heavily on his shoulders. You won't take me down that easily, he shouted defiantly after taking a solid hit, but even he could feel the shift in momentum. The fight reached a pivotal turning point in the later rounds. Mikey, sensing weakness, unleashed his power, landing a series of punishing blows that left Jake reeling. The crowd gasped as Jake stumbled back after a powerful right hook caught him off guard. It was a moment of reckoning, the fight unfolding in ways that the young contender hadn't anticipated. I can't let him break me, Jake thought desperately as he tried to regroup, but um, my key was relentless, moving in for the kill. In the final round, both fighters were visibly fatigued, yet my key's experience proved to be the deciding factor. He closed in on Jake, who was struggling to maintain his composure. You're just a kid playing with fire, my key taunted, 
his voice low and confident. In a swift motion, Amaiki unleashed a powerful combination that sent Jake crashing to the canvas. The crowd erupted, a mix of shock and exhilaration sweeping through the arena as the referee began the count. As Jake struggled to rise, determination flickered in his eyes. This isn't over, Mikey muttered weakly, but the reality was clear. Mikey Tyson stood victorious, raising his arms in triumph as the crowd cheered. The fight was a testament to the power of experience and respect within the sport, a lesson that Jake was learning the hard way. In the aftermath, Jake sat in a post-fight interview, bruised but defiant. I learned a lot tonight. Respect the game, respect the fighters. I'll be back, he stated, a fire still burning in his eyes. His resolve was palpable and though he had faced a crushing defeat, he was determined to rise from the ashes, ready to fight another day. Meanwhile, Mikey reflected on the bout, the challenges that lay ahead, and the respect he now felt for the younger fighter. That kid has potential, but he needs to earn respect. This sport isn't for children, he remarked, acknowledging the talent Jake possessed despite his immaturity. As the camera faded to black, capturing both fighters walking away from the ring, a sense of mutual respect began to brew beneath the surface. The clash between Let's not forget the comparisons that came up post-fight. Joe Rogan said, If Mike Tyson can take out Jake Paul that easily, how would he fare against someone like Floyd Mayweather? I mean, that's a discussion right there. Mayweather's defense is like a fortress, while Tyson's offense is an all-out war. It would be a battle of speed versus power, and honestly, I'd pay to see that. So here we are, folks. Jake Paul, the guy who thought he could conquer the boxing world like it was a new video game level, just got knocked down by a man who literally ate opponents for breakfast. What's next for Jake? Back to YouTube, perhaps. Maybe a new series, How to Get Knocked Out Like a Pro. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Let me know your thoughts on this epic showdown. Did Jake bite off more than he could chew, or was Tyson just too much to handle? Don't forget to subscribe for more hot takes and sarcastic commentary. Until next time, keep your guard up and remember, life is a boxing match and sometimes you just get knocked out.